Hello FlossTube, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday, June 18th, 2023. Happy Father's Day uh, to everyone uh, who is celebrating today, whether you're celebrating your own father or your husband or your uncle or your brother or uh, your sons who might be fathers, uh, those who are like fathers to you, or if you're just remembering your own father. Um, so just wanted to give a huge thinking of you for anyone that this might be a hard day for. Um, it's a hard day for my mom. And so uh, just wanted to say that I am thinking about all of you today and I hope for everyone celebrating. And I should also say there might be some men out there or <laughs> fathers who are watching. So uh, if you're in Stitcher, uh, happy Father's Day. And let's see, I have, I have notes. I should read them. I want to say welcome. I know we have quite a few new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I did do a post on my work page, not my uh, stitching Facebook page, but just kind of my overall work related page. I am at 96,000. I'm a little bit over that now. Uh, subscribers on YouTube. Thank you guys so much. I know I am a broken record and I say it all the time, but we are going to have an amazing celebration when I reach that milestone. So I just want a, want to say a huge thank you to all of you who have subscribed. If you haven't, please consider subscribing. I cannot wait to have the, the giveaways and the live streams and all of the fun things. We're just going to have a really big celebration. Uh, both here, um, I'm going to do a separate one for stitching and then I will have one for my paper crafters as well. So just very, very exciting news. Um, as always, timestamps will be listed below. Uh, that makes it easy. You can jump to whatever you're interested in. I do try to have it very organized and I do follow a pretty much a format every week. I have an outline I made for myself after, you know, the first couple months or so of doing this, I realized pretty quickly that I was just like, wee, it's, it's an anything goes. I, and I would forget things. So for me, I keep a document open all week long. I add to it and then I refine it before I actually go live. And so I follow a pretty consistent format each week. Um, I also link the products below that I talk about, whether it be the cloth I use, the floss I use, the pattern I use, if I can find it. You know, there's always those times when things maybe aren't available anymore or whatever. So there will be some of that. But if I've missed anything, please let me know. Uh, leave me comments down in the description. I always love to hear from you guys and um, I always try to help out. I will say there have been a few questions I've received, which I, I probably will get to in a little bit when I talk about the upcoming Christmas in July, Sal, because that's where I've seen the majority. Well, no, that's not true. I've seen them on that and also the rainbow create chart that I shared on Instagram. Um, I have gotten a lot of questions in a lot of different places. So I'll get like DMs through Facebook. I'll get DMs through Instagram. I'll get comments on Instagram, comments on Facebook. And I even got a couple of emails. All wanting to know the same thing. Like, what are the floss colors you use? So if you get a response from me saying, please go look at my Instagram feed or go look on the Facebook group, that is because I'm just not going to retype something that I've already shared. And, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that because I'm not trying to be short. I'm just, I don't have time to retype that or look it up every single time I get the same question. So I do try to um, put it out there when I'm asked, especially when I'm asked the multiple, when I'm asked a question, the same question multiple times. 
Wow, that was hard to get out. So sorry. Well, let's jump in to today's episode. I have a, quite a lot of stitching to share with you. I have some fun haul things um, that I found. I have, what else? Oh, I have a big a big section of shout outs, kind of big, that I want to share with you today. Um, lot, lots of stitching. And then I do want to talk about how our Flossiversary summer sale is going. I want to announce what the Christmas in July sale is going to be and also ask kind of for your help with something with that. And then I do have some giveaways. I am not announcing any giveaways today. You have from last week, episode 14's 14. No, Nicole. Episode 48. Um... Those giveaways you have until Wednesday, June. It should be this week, shouldn't it? I think I put the 28th. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's wrong. I'll fix it. You have until, let's see. Today is the 18th, right? When I, I'm going to put this up. 19, 20. 21. You have until June 21st at 8 a.m. for the last week's episode to leave a comment. I need to fix that. So uh, I had gotten off a week because I missed a week. And then I do have a whole bunch of giveaways to share with you guys today. Let's jump in. Uh, Q&A. Leanne says, where do you order your made by tags from? I order those from Sweetwater Label Company. I have been asked this question so many times, and I, I know you, you may have not seen all those floss tubes, which is totally fine. So that is going to be something I do try to put when I'm asked the same thing over and over. I do have a section at the bottom in my description, and I am going to add the labels to that because I'm asked it so often. So you can order them directly from their Etsy shop, and those are going to be a little, well, let me start over. They have a Sweetwater label tagged club. So every month I do get a tag or tags. It's, it's different every month. I know I've talked about that before. Um, it's the same size sheet. Sometimes it has multiple tags on it. Let me grab one. Sometimes it only has one. Let me see if I can. Here's a couple of good examples. So these are a couple of different months of labels, and sometimes they have more than that, or sometimes it's one just big one. Anyway, I belong to the Tagged Club, and each month I get some ta so, tags. I get some labels that I can put on quilts or project bags or whatever. They also have an Etsy shop, and that in the Etsy shop you can get some. You can get personalized labels or generic labels. Here's an example, like the full sheet of labels. Here's a couple of different examples. So I will link both of those down in the description if you're interested. And those are just a couple. They have a lot of different ones. Pam, I am trying to understand the decorative pins where are you putting those I stick them in pillows pillows pin cushions so you know a lot of cross stitch finishes are pillows or pin cushions I've shared some in the past I actually don't think I have one in here no I don't that I could share with you guys right now um, but I like to stick them in those um, if you've watched Primrose Cottage YouTube channel, they did their B pillow, which I still need to finish, and they put decorative pins in theirs. So those decorative pins that I'm sharing with you, that is what I use them for. I use them to embellish my cross stitch finishes. Some of them I am making some pin cushions and I have plans to make pin cushions. You know my plans. I always have plans. Um, but they are perfect for embellishing those kind of things as well, just as an extra decorative touch. Uh, I forgot to write down who asked this question, uh, but I had multiple, so I'm not going to list anybody's name. And it's, can you please list the name of the color and cotton threads that you used for the create chart? I shared, um, I think I shared that I last week I showed I was going to do it. I actually stitched it this week and I put it up on Instagram. Super fast stitch. And yes, I have those listed down in the description below. I'm going to show you my finish here in a minute. 
You may have already seen it on Instagram or Facebook, and I did list out all the color and cotton threads. Now, I know when you go to the color and cotton website, a lot of the threads show that they are sold out. I would suggest contacting customer service and asking if they can put a thread pack together for you or if those are actually sold out. I don't know if the website is always completely up to date, but it wouldn't hurt to email their customer service and ask. So that, uh, yes, I will have those listed and I will uh, talk about that here in just a minute. I would love, and I forgot to write down who left this question too. I'm so sorry. I would love to hear any tips and tricks you have for quilting the bag components on your home machine. What needles and thread do you prefer? I use 50 weight or, or a, or a floss or a fill, not or a floss or a fill thread. Um, and that is prime. That's the only thread I use usually color 2021, I believe. And as far as needles, I use the needles that my machine calls for. So on my, I quilting, I generally do on my Janome and I have a Janome horizon memory craft. It is like 12, 13, 14 years old. It is not new at by any means, but I absolutely love it. I have a Juki for straight line stitching and I haven't quilted on it yet. I, I think you can. It's not that you can't. I just am so comfortable on the Janome quilting. That's what I use and I use the called for needles. So I don't know that I have a good tip for that because I, I use what my machine calls for. Uh, do you happen to remember the designer? And I forgot to write down who left this question too. I was really on, on the ball. Uh, do you happen to remember the designer of the pattern of the flag made of stars that's in your first couple of photos from Cecilia's sampler? Um, I actually did it, but I thought it was one of two companies. And so I did a quick search. It's Bent Creek and it's called Flag of Stars. I believe it's sold in a kit. I don't think it's just the pattern, but I have a link down in the description below if you are interested as well. And that is all for Q&A. If I have missed your question, please be sure to leave it down in the description or in the comments below. I can't talk today. I couldn't talk last week either. Uh, leave your comment down below and I will get back to it. Shout outs. So the first thing I wanted to shout out is that uh, Kathy of Hands-On Design has new charts. She also has a new floss tube. So I'm going to link to her latest floss tube down below where she talks and goes through all of the new releases with her husband, Bill. And it's just, I, I think their floss tubes are so fun and funny like that. And I love her new release. I will tell you that I already have one of the charts because I did uh, take part in the Jingle Ball last, I think, was that November, you guys? I... I so I was really nervous, believe it or not. And so I didn't participate in the chat rooms. I, I started to, and they had a little problem right at the beginning. I shouldn't say problem, but there was something that went on right at the beginning and I had a hard time getting in. I could watch the like little talks or whatever, uh, demonstrate presentation. That's the word I'm looking for, but I couldn't really get in. And so, or to the, the chat rooms and I didn't know what I was doing. That's probably what it was. <laughs> it was me. It's always the user. It is not uh, that. I didn't know what I was doing. So I didn't really participate in the chat rooms or anything like that. And I haven't stitched anything. But I did buy a few things, mostly from Kathy. She's one of my very favorites. So she is releasing then, though. <clears throat> and here is that because I do have the PDF of it. Obviously, I can't show you the chart, but here is, let's just fold it up, shall we? Because she's uh, selling them in paper now. But these awesome ornaments, this is Oh Christmas 3, and she does have a finishing pack on her website. If you watch her YouTube video, her floss tube, she talks about that. So there is a finishing pack that you can buy with all the things that you uh, see here to finish these into round ornaments. Um, and then the floss, she has it charted in here. Let me, I want to look at this really quick. Oh yeah. I, I never, you guys, I never looked at my pattern. I downloaded it, never looked at it. She charted this in color and cotton. 
Color and Cotton does have the floss pack. As of the morning that you're seeing this, I did, or the day you're seeing this, it might be night by the time it gets uploaded. It's been slow lately. Color and Cotton has the floss pack in stock. So if you want it, you can definitely check it out. I will tell you, I did not buy the floss pack. I did buy some floss from Color and Cotton when I was there. The reason I'm not getting the floss pack, I'm not going to do the words in blue. It doesn't match my holiday vibe. Everything else does. I like the chalkboard look. I probably will switch it out to red, to be honest, because my tree is red. You've, if you've seen my uh, Christmas decor on my main tree, I do want to make these, but I probably will use floss that I have. And I think I picked up enough colors from Color and Cotton that I can use to do this. But I love that she charted this in Color and Cotton floss. And I will have a link to that floss pack to the finishing um, on her site. And you do kind of have to piecemeal it together. And look for this to start popping up in all of your favorite stores. You may even be able to pre-order it from pre-order this and the other ones, which I am going to pop pictures up on the screen because I don't have mine yet. Um, you can pre-order them from your local shops. So this is the first one, Oh Christmas 3. Then I didn't get one of them and I forgot the name of it. I'm so sorry. It's a pin cushion. No, it's not a pin cushion. It's the neighborhood one. I love it, but I just, I like the other two. So I, a little more. So I got those. I asked my LNS Hearts Desire. They are getting those. So if you're interested, I will drop their information down below too. You can always request it. Um, they'll get things up for you if you want, or you can just purchase the pattern straight from them. And they are called, um, so first up on the screen, this is probably my favorite. It's a vintage stitch to hexi which I think is hilarious. And if you watch her floss tube, it's funny. Uh, but I love these. I think they are so beautiful. I'm really excited to stitch those. And then the strawberry fr uh, version from the berry basket. And it sounds like she's going to do more berries. And I'm excited to see what all she comes up out with in the future. So those are the two that I requested from Heart's Desire here in Wichita, Kansas. Um, I know that other LNSs also have them. I saw that Cecilia Sampler said that they are getting them. Those are just two that I've actually been to that say they're getting them. I know there's lots of others. So definitely contact your LNS to grab those. And I'm sure Fat Quarter Shop will get them as well. So that was my first shout out was Hands On Design. I also want to shout out uh, Carrie at Red Velvet Quilts on Instagram. I mentioned her last week, but I forgot to put her Instagram handle down below. If you, so here, this, this is a, I followed her forever, forever. So this is going to be kind of a, my long story. I like happy in my Instagram feed or my Facebook feed. So I like dogs or cats. But I'm I'm a huge dog person. You guys know I have dogs, but my son has cats, so we're we're just a pet a pet family. But she has three cute little dogs and a cat, and then another cat's kind of adopted her whole family. And if you follow her, you kind of know that whole story. But I just love her pets, and so uh, that that isn't how I started following her. But I love checking in and seeing what antics her cute little uh, dogs and and kitty are up to. And then she is an amazing quilter and cross-stitcher and prolific. And I love following her. Um, she doesn't have floss tube that I know of. Carrie, if I'm wrong, you can DM me and say, uh, yeah, I do. I did look, but I didn't think I saw anything. Um, but she shares like her progress in her stories. And I am just blown away by how much she gets done. And when she starts a quilt, I mean, that girl knocks it out. It is amazing. She also has a long arm quilting service. So I am going to drop, like I said, her Instagram handle down below. You can click her link in her profile and it'll take you to the page if you are looking for a long arm quilter. So I just wanted to shout her out because I mentioned her last week and then I didn't put any information because last week was a long video, I guess. We're going to go with that instead of I'm forgetful. <laughs> um, the next thing I want to talk about 
please watch um, Chantal of 141 Designs' latest floss tube. She goes over StitchCon. In fact, go to anyone who you know went to StitchCon. I know Jessica, the Sweetwater Stitcher, has a great floss tube where she talks about StitchCon. Chantal talks about StitchCon and all of the great things there. And then she does reveal near the end of the video that she is opening up a LNS in her hometown. It's a building she already owns. I will let direct you to her video where she talks all about it. But very exciting. Um, her soft opening will be the weekend of her retreat in September. So I uh, just want to shout her out. It's going to be a a slow build to getting all of the things that an LNS needs, which that's just the way it goes. I mean, you can't probably fill a whole shop all at once. Most of these shops have been open for years and years, um, you know, building their, their samples and their um, inventory and all of that. So very excited and congratulations to Chantal. And last, this isn't really such a shout out. It is just something I get asked a lot about certain things like, where do you get your bog bag? Where do you get the rainbow baskets? There's, there's others. And I do have an Amazon storefront and I always direct to that. It's always linked down in the description below, but I am going to link it uh, here in the Q&A. Uh, check it out. It does have a lot of different things. It has like paper crafting links. It has cross stitch, quilting links, some home links, things like that. I love, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, so that's not really a shout out to myself. That is just more of a here's where to go to find some of those things I talk about a lot that I say I get from Amazon. Okay, let's move on to finishes. So as I was just mentioning, and I did not organize this very well today. I do have a finish kept in my rainbow bag that I made. Um, this create chart from Teresa Kogut. It's a free chart download from Fat Quarter Shop. And it's obviously black and white. You can do it in any color you want. I have seen so many of you who shared photos with me that you have stitched it, then you've stitched it. Maybe you did it all in one color or ombre, or you did it in your own kind of rainbow version or whatever the case may be. So the sky is the limit, however you want to create that. I stitched mine on 40 count blush Newcastle linen by Zweigart. Yes, it's 40 count. I had several comments saying, how do you see that? Daylight Halo Go. It's a magnifier light. It has changed my stitching life completely. If you do not need a magnifier or light, good job. I do. <laughs> it is linked to my Amazon shop and it has changed my life. Truly. Stitching was hard. I was kind of struggling through and I thought the same thing. How do you stitch on the smaller counts? This is how. I didn't think that this was a stretch. I am pretty good at stitching on 36 now. I love 36, but this was 40. My first time stitching on 40, I stitched it in just a couple of evenings. I did use all that color and cotton floss that I was talking about, and I will show it to you. I think on this blush color linen, it is gorgeous. I think it shows up so good. So I do need to finish this and put it here in my craft room but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I did get this fabric. I When I purchased it, I think the label's still on here. I got it at Lindy's Stitches, but I noticed it was out of stock, so I looked for it and did a little search, and I did find it in stock at 123 Stitch, so I do have the link for that down below. Now, the color and cotton floss that I used... And I do have these listed out, but I will go through them here. So my pink color is leg warmers. The orange color is baby carrots. The yellow is baby chick. The mint is, or the mint, it's kind of minty aqua, reggae. 
Blue is spring rain. The lavender is butterfly bush. And that those six were curated by Angela. I asked for that. So if you're interested, she probably has a record of that. Uh, I will also try to remember to email her and let her know. Um, but she curated a rainbow pack for me and I love it. Now the gray that I used for uh, the everyday and also for the needle in the stitch. This was from the June Thread Club and it is the color Thimble. So uh, hopefully that helps if you're interested at all or if your shop is starting to carry color and cotton or anything like that, hopefully you will be able to find some of that there. And that is my finish for the week, my only finish. Anyone else have a ton of stuff they need to fully finish? I need to have a weekend of, or a day of fully finish. Like I have so many things I need to fully finish, but apparently I'm just stitching things and throwing them in a pile or box. Next up, new starts. So yes, I have a new start. And this week is going, Tuesday will be the third release and I am still back at the first and I hardly have anything. In fact, I didn't print it out. I only have the full chart and I can't show that to you. So I'm going to put here on the screen um, the Fat Quarter Shop Haunted Halloween Mystery Stitch Along. Part of the reason I, well, I've been busy with other things, so that did take a little bit. But I knew I wanted to change up the chart, and I kind of have figured out what I want to do with it. So let me show what I have so far. I mean, it's nothing much, you guys. It's kind of embarrassing. I forgot to say on my create chart, I stitch with one strand of floss over two. So one over two on that 40 count. This is 36 count Grace Notes Reese fabric. I think, right? Reese, I think that's how you say it. R-H-Y-S. This is Grace Notes fabric. It was kind of a, I don't know if it was new for Nashville Needlework Market, but Fat Quarter Shop got some colors in and I love this one. Um, I switched up from the called for fabric that that quarter shop is doing. They're using pistachio by fiber on a whim. And I picked 36 cause I want mine to be tiny. And I started with the moon. So I started here in the, the center and I'm going to work my way around. But as you saw on the screen, so it's got the, the bat and the moon area have been released. And then on part two, it had the tombstone. I don't really like the tombstone floating out with the moon, but I love the bat and the moon and the sentiment on the chart. So for mine, it's going to have bats only. I can't tell you what the other two icons are, but I am going to do bats, not in each corner or anything like that. I'm actually doing my own. I charted it myself. It's kind of jank. <laughs> But I just want it to, I wanted it to be how I wanted because I like the design, but I wanted it to just be bats with the moon. So yeah, that's, that's it. That's my start. It's not that great because I didn't want to get too far um, until I had a good plan of where my bats were going to go. And I think I have that now. And again, this is my Halloween bag. This is the uh, block one from the haunted Halloween quilt along also from Fat Quarter Shop, and I took the uh, Bat in the Moon block and I turned it into a project bag and I have a video tutorial. It's down in the description if you're interested. Uh, this charm is from Fat Quarter Shop and a label from Sweetwater, and that's what I am keeping my stitch in. And I'm using the Called For Floss. I am using all the Called For Classic Color Works for that. One strand over two. Whips and Sells. So I have titled this video, let me make sure I have it right, The Right Fabric Makes the Stitch. The rest of my week was spent changing everything that I have done so far for Red, White, and June. I hate to do this, and I decided to do this after my Wednesday night stitch with me 
for my Flossiversary Summer Sale 2023, I started stitching the white on the paper bark. If you remember back when I started my sale, it was between paper bark and salt brush from Fox and Rabbit. Those were the two 32 count fabrics I had chosen uh, to use for my, I was going to pick one of them for the sale. And I wanted to use salt brush. And then when I looked at it, I thought it looked kind of, I, d I guess I just couldn't imagine the colors on it. Like I thought it looked greenish or something. I don't know. But it, it was where my gut told me. And then I felt like um, I, I had a lot of advice to go lighter. I thought about spraying my fabric with the vintage spray um, from Lisa Bonjean. And I thought, well, if I ruin all my stitching, I'll be mad. I may still try it since I started over. And it, if I mess it up now, oh well. But I did start over. I did decide I just didn't like any white floss. And I tried multiple on the paper bark and it just wasn't it wasn't how I wanted it to look and your stitch should always be what you want not what other people want and so don't let what I'm doing influence you in any way that's really where I want to go with this because I don't want anyone else to think they need to start over I just personally I like the darker color fabric I, I like it a lot so this is salt brush just to remind you guys. And here it looks great. It, I think it was the evening I was choosing and maybe this, the light was not as good or something. I don't know. So let me show you what I did. And I'm going to show you both examples because I actually started on another fabric too. I, I tried everything. So most of my week was spent stitching all the things. This is my Flossiversary Summer Sal Patriotic Bag, Patchwork Bag. It could be any kind of bag. I do have a video tutorial for this as well. And here is my stitch, and there's nothing wrong with it. But see how the white just doesn't pop on here? I started the flower. This is 32 count paper bark. And I do like this. I like the stitch. I'll show you. I even started it on this one. I did not like this one. I bought this one for 4th of July stitches and I think something will look good on it, but not that. This is Tornado, which it honestly is okay too. Not my favorite though. It has a lot of modeling. That's also from Fox and Rabbit. But I did go back to Paper Bark, which was my initial choice and I changed my mind. So I want to hold these up. And I actually started with the red, white, and bloom because I needed a break from starting at the top. So I did do the entire basket. I love how the colors look on the salt brush. Um, I hope no one is angry that I started over. By Wednesday evening, I will have everything from and up until the fourth week stitched. I did, I think I am going to put, I think I maybe didn't leave enough room, did I? We well, shall see. I showed my friend, and I'm going to put it here on the screen, Heather Nichols. She stitched her whole thing, and she did a lot more than what I'm, like, I, well, not a lot more, but she did the little floral motif that goes under here. I'm not stitching that. Um, so st I think Stars and Stripes is going to go here, Forever is going to go here, and then there'll be the little border down here and a border up here. I hope I didn't start too low. Honestly, you guys, it's been a disaster. <laughs> Me not deciding, although I'm very happy. I stitched all of that basket in like two evenings, maybe. And then I even stitched some other stuff. So let me show you. I am going to do this motif or this border, pardon me, not motif, uh, stars and stripes, then obviously the basket from red, white, and bloom, then I'm going to do forever and the border that's from this chart. So I'm excited about it. I started working on my backer board for this. I do want to reiterate that 
the backer, the Plentiful Pocket from Chantal will, is only going to work really with 32 count fabric. If you did a 28 or a 14, it's not. 16 and 32 is the biggest. Um, and then if you do something smaller, it, will, it should fit too. But it really depends on the motifs. Remember, this was a mashup kind of, and I know not everyone is doing that, but if you are, I need to measure it out again. I've changed my mind so many times. It has to fit the board. So um, that is what we're going to work towards. But I did change it. And I do think the fabric makes all the difference in the world. To me, this just pops so much more. My other whip this week, I also changed the fabric. Poor paper bark is not getting a lot of love. So I started stitching... For Red, White, and June, I started stitching the Summer Memories Freedom Flowers, which is this one. Um, let me see if I can find it in here. That would be easier, wouldn't it? This one. This is Freedom Flowers by Susan Aki. I love this book so much still. So I started stitching it on paper bark and this is all I got done last week and it's fine. It's fine. It just wasn't exactly, again, it's just not exactly what I wanted. I, I don't know. I was having a real issue. So this fabric that we're using or that I switched it to is actually a color and cotton that I picked up at color and cotton. And I, I forgot, I picked it up to do some of these charts on and I had forgotten it in my bag. And so after I had stitched that and filmed my video last week, I was like, Oh my gosh, you picked up this fabric. Let's just see if you like it on there. Because obviously I'm, I'm, I'm keeping the other one too. I, I just in case, but I started stitching. This is the 32 count pewter linen. Here's what the skew is in case you're interested. Uh, and I love it. I absolutely love how the colors look. I did not switch up my colors. They are all color and cotton colors. They are, except for the light red. I did have to pick a week's dye works, which I ha haven't stitched on here yet. But these are my color and cotton threads, and I will show them to you. My dark green is Tree Lot. My light green is Liberty. It's kind of a greenish gray. Valor Red is the dark red. That's the flower pot. Old Glory is going to be the light blue in my stitch. These colors I didn't use. They just came in that May kit. And my dark blue is Shining Sea. So there is where I'm at. I am very happy with it. I love how it looks. I like how it looks on this color fabric. Um, this was just more of how I was feeling. So that is why this episode is called The Fabric Makes the Stitch. Because I had a lot of indecision and restart this week, but very, very happy with it. I think it's so pretty. I'm so happy with the salt brush for the, the floss of Urshery Sal. I'm so happy with the pewter for the summer memories. So do what makes you happy. Don't be afraid to restart. Neither one of them, it wasn't like it was a huge, huge start on either one. Yes, did it put me a couple evenings behind on each? It did. But at the end of it, I would much rather have something I'm happy with than something that I'm like I wish I would have I wish I would have started over before I finished it. So, um that is my advice today. Um if you're not totally happy, it's okay to restart. I've done it multiple times on multiple projects. This is the most I've done it here recently. <laughs> but, um, and it was a lot this week. Apparently I didn't like anything I picked out at a certain time. And that is it for my whips or sals this week. Okay. Free charts. 
Oh, sorry. I put electrolytes in my water and I don't think I stirred them up very good. I have several things I want to talk about. That create chart from the create rainbow stitch. That is a Teresa Kogut chart. It was from Nashville Needlework Market, but I wanted to let you guys know because I know several people said um, they hadn't seen it or where can they find it. Fat Quarter Shop actually has a lot of those in their free cross stitch chart section. So in the description, I am have or I am going to put a link to all the freebies. So they have like this year's freebie, which was from Heart and Hand. Uh, that Teresa Kogut one was from 2020. I'm trying to remember what last year's was, but they have a lot of different free charts. Some are theirs, some are from other designers. Um, it's not gonna be every free chart that every designer ever has had, but things, uh, needlework shops got the free chart if they attended market. And then the, the stores passed those along to their customers. And that's why Fat Quarter Shop has some of those there. So I just wanted to share the link to that section. Browse, see if there's anything else that you want to stitch out and stitch. Because um, that is kind of a nice little resource for some freebies. Then I think, I think I actually missed April's. And I did not print it out. This is a free chart, but I try not to show too many of these on here. A Silver Creek Sampler's June chart is called June Bug, and I love that it's a little Volkswagen. Uh, I thought that was super, super cute. Uh, she has a freebie section on her website. Again, the link for her website and the freebies is down below. Um, so definitely check that out. And... Oh, before I move, my uh, my friend Nan, she is an awesome viewer here. She shared that the Orophil has a, a page of free charts by Susan Aki. So Susan did the Summer Memories book for Fat Quarter with Fat Quarter Shop. Uh, she has a ton of free charts. There is a link down below. And thank you, Nan, for sharing that with me. I did not know that. And I always like passing that information along to you guys. Next, uh, and the last thing, this isn't free, but I do want to tell you guys, because I don't think I've announced it here, that Deanna of Cherry Hill Stitchery has a great discount for my viewers throughout the rest of this month. Uh, it ends July 1st. 20% off anything um, in her Etsy shop. So download PDF only uh, with the link down in the description here below, or you can use the code that I'm going to have pop up here on the bottom of the screen that is Spore Sal. Um, and I just want to say a huge thank you to Deanna for offering that to my viewers. Um, I appreciate it so much. And it's a great little bonus or discount for you guys. Uh, we've talked about the Flossiversary Summer Sal. So I probably won't go over that again. We, week four, uh, Stitch With Me will be Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. Central. And then the following week will be a pre-recorded and edited video premiere, which means I will be live in the chat, but I won't be creating live on screen. With a finishing like that, it's just really hard to do it live because it would be hours long waiting for things to dry and whatnot. So I pre-record it, edit it, upload it, and then I'm in the chat and we can talk about it and uh, you can ask questions live. So that will be the week after. And then when that sale ends, I announced on my Facebook page this week that the Christmas in July sale 2023 will start. Um, it is going to be another Cherry Hill chart. I don't usually do that and I usually pick a PDF. She does have some paper only charts and this was a complete inspiration struck and it was something that I want to do based on the finish because I've been asked a lot. I actually stitched another of her charts last, I started it last November and I finished in December or January and I finished it on a sled from uh, 141 Design and I stained it with Tim Holtz inks and all of this and I didn't film a video and I had a lot of questions about it 
And when I've had this chart in my stash, it's, I guess I should announce what it is. It's the Jingle Bell Sleigh Ride Company chart. Let's show it to you guys. How about that? Let's take it out of the plastic though. Um, so here is the chart. And she has a, Chantal has a large sled in her shop that I think this will look amazing on. And I think it really matches the theme of the chart. So I'm excited to do it. Works for 40, 40, 14, 28 count fabric. I will stitch mine on a 28 count vintage country mocha. Vintage country mocha is the called for cloth in this chart. But you could use any kind of, I would say, brownish tan. It needs to be dark enough. Don't do a paper bark situation where it should be a salt brush. Okay? <laughs> um, you want it to be something darker. So let me show you the fabric. But I think it's going to look amazing on the sled. And I don't have that sled. I may have one and I just don't remember. So there's the fabric and the floss I picked. Now... She charted this in DMC. I went through and did a conversion following just a conversion that you can um, get out there on the internet that takes DMC to classic color works or weak style works or gentle arts or whatever. And that's how I came up with the colors. And so I do have that information down in the description. Um, it's also on the Facebook page. I'm going to put it on the YouTube community page. I will post it on Instagram as well because uh, I'm going to post all of this. But instead of DMC, I'm using this. But if you have DMC, use that. But when I did the Merry Christmas chart, um, I just used over dyed floss from my stash and it worked out great. Minimal colors. I'm really excited to do this and to kind of share a different kind of finishing idea with you guys. This is going to be a four week sal for Christmas in July. The fifth week will also be a pre recorded and edited video with a premiere where we can talk live in the chat um, about the finishing. But I'm very, very excited about this. I wanted to do something fun for Christmas in July, and this is what I came up with. Now, I started to say this earlier, I usually don't do the same designer back to back and I usually try to mix it up. This was completely an inspiration struck and I thought this would be a fantastic stitch to go with the finishing that I would like to do. This was in my stash to stitch already because this was released, I want to say last year, let me look. It was. Um, and so very excited about that. Now, she often will release companion charts, I guess, if you will. And she has two other charts that are very similar to the Jingle Bell Sleigh Ride Co. And that is, this was a download. This is Sleigh Bell's Ring. And I have a link for that below. You could use that 20% off code to purchase this one, or you could, uh, could um, get the PDF from, I know Fat Quarter Shop has it as well. So that is a companion. I am going to stitch this as well, but I'm going to make this into a little pillow. I like a hard finish and then I like a little soft finish. So I have an idea for how to display these at Christmas. So I'm going to stitch this one as well. They do use a lot of the same colors. In fact, let me tell you, because I have a list. One, There's three colors that are extra that aren't used in this that are used between these two charts I'm going to share with you. So the first is Sleigh Bell's Ring and then there's Rudolph's Reindeer Games. This also was a paper chart and this one is available at Fat Quarter Shop which is what I want to talk about next. I am going to stitch this one as well. I think I'm going to frame this one or finish it I think and or I'll do a couple of pillows, we shall see. But these are all slated to be stitched for my Christmas in July, because I just, I, I have this really cute idea of how they display and how that they work together. I love when designers will release multiple things that work together um, for creating our little vignettes and things like that. 
here is my special request for you guys. I posted this in Facebook on our private group. Fat Corner Shop has a request form on their site. Um, this sold out at 123 Stitch when I announced the sale. Uh, Primrose Cottage had this on their in their Etsy shop. It sold out. I tried to find several places that had it and it sold out. For whatever reason, Fat Quarter Shop does not have this in their shop. They are really good about getting things. I did put in a request. Obviously, I put in the request late Friday or Saturday, so I probably will hear back. But I asked you guys, if you want this chart and you want to get it from Fat Quarter Shop because it's easy, uh, put in a request. On 123 Stitch, please click notify me. Those things let those shops know to please get more of those because people want it. This will not start until, let me look at the date that I have for the start. I have too many dates in my head right now. This is going to start, oh, I didn't put it on here. I will look. How about that? Let me look at my calendar. It is going to start the 5th. Um, the finishing tutorial for the floss anniversary is the 28th, and then we're going to start Christmas in July on Wednesday the 5th. You may start it at any time. You do not have to wait for me. But I did want to mention that that is going to start. I'm very excited about it. I think you guys are too. As always, there's going to be giveaways and uh, all kinds of fun stuff like that. I have some really fun ideas, um, but I hope you will join me if you're interested. And I did have a question about, do I have to stitch this one for the, the sal? You could stitch any of the three of these for the sal if you want to. Um, Maybe you've already stitched it or you don't want to or whatever. You could stitch any of the three of these for this out. Just know that I have I have looked and this is the one that's going to fit on the sled so you won't be doing the finishing and you may not want to do the finishing like me anyway. It is not a requirement. I just always like to kind of add that into my sales as a fun little bonus or extra to encourage everyone to finish their, their uh, projects. I missed something. Oh yeah, I did. Haul is next. Um, I've obviously looking forward to the end of the year, I guess. I have so much I want to stitch for like patriotic or bees or whatever, but I am always drawn to Halloween, fall, and Christmas. Always. So I did get some charts off of my wish list. These are all purchased at Farm Girl Dry Goods. I will have a link down below. Um, I have become a huge Blackbird fan. I got a Way We Ride. I love this. So I'm excited to... I don't plan to start this anytime soon. I'm going to start Midnight Watch first, which I shared with you guys. In fact, I thought I laid that out to talk about. I did. One moment. Um, here's like all my floss. I am going to stitch Midnight Watch this year. And thank you for sharing. I can't remember who shared with me that there is a quilt that matches. I'm not a huge, like, embroider quilt fan, but I'm super tempted because the quilt is beautiful. The question I got that I wanted to address here was, what fabric am I going to stitch this on? And the called for fabric was 30 count 18th century brown by R&R. &R. I don't think that color is still available. I mean, I'm sure you can find it some, somewhere. Well, I shouldn't say, I'm sure. I looked in my stash. I'm actually gonna stitch mine on 36 count. This is Bramble by Picture This Plus. Let's not, let's just do it in half here. I really like this. I think this is going to be perfect. I did do a floss toss on it, 
So I am going to stitch mine on Bramble. I like this a lot. So um, that was a question I received. I know this really isn't part of haul. This was from my stash, but I did want to address that here. I will let you know when I'm going to stitch, start stitching this, but it, it's going to be a little bit. I know a couple of you mentioned that you have it and you want to start to. Um, okay, so long story short, new chart, away we ride. I'm just, I'm really getting into Blackbird. Then I also picked up, because I love every single thing that Brenda Gervais does, um, I saw that Jessica, the Sweetwater Stitcher, started Witch's Night Out, and I had to have it. This has been on my wish list forever, so I picked that one up. Um, I also got the Hallow Day Inn from With Thy Needle and Thread. I thought it was cute too. And this actually is not Halloween. It's patriotic, but I looked for it. Uh, they had a sample at Cecilia's Sampler, and I couldn't find the chart. So I did get this from Farm Girl Dry Goods, and it is Land of Liberty with Uncle Sam and that little dog holding the flag. See, it's my little Odiner Frank. <laughs> so uh, I got that one too. More charts to add to the book of possibilities. Um, the next thing I wanted to sh well, I'll show the share this first. I did place an order with Cherry Chick again. Um, she had. And I say had, she had some Halloween charms. I am going to assume, I forgot to ask her, I meant to message her and ask. I will assume she'll restock. I could not find them on the chart, chart, her website, pardon me. So I got ghosts. Um, these are not Halloween. These are candy canes. Here's the rest of my Halloween. And then I got the Cat and the Pumpkin, and I got the Jack-o'-lantern for my project bags. So I did place a little order, and I got those. And then I told you guys that I had ordered the Bumblebee Needle Minder, which is in stock. I have a link for that down below. I mean, how cute is that? So just add that to my either to my stitches or, you know, to my board of cuties because I just thought he was so cute. So got that. And while I was on there, I also picked up these ladybug pins because I thought they would be cute in summer finishes. And I love her pins. And she always, she's so generous. She since sent me this cute little jack-o'-lantern um, zipper pull that I'm going to add to my Halloween bag. So thank you so much. I love it, love it. All right. This is sold out, but I thought we would do an unboxing. Um, the Liberty Box from Fat Quarter Shop is a limited edition. They do this each year. I don't know how many years they've done it, but it is very popular. They do certain boxes similar to their sew sampler. They do these throughout the year, but the Liberty box is probably one of my favorite. I did purchase this. I was not gifted this, so I bought this with my own money because I love it, and everything in here is amazing. So let's open it up and take a look. First of all, it, I love how they package their things. When you get it, Please know I've already gone through it too. So this actually is down inside. The presentation is beautiful. Look at this. Stars and stripes, big and bright. And then it says Sweet Land of Liberty, Fat Quarter, Shop Exclusive. Now on the back of this, they always have like a discount, which I can't show you. So let me pull that out. Um, I'll tell you what the discounts are. 20% off all Sweetwater fabrics. Yes. <laughs> I have a cart full. I love Sweetwater. That's who makes the labels too, for anyone who doesn't know. And free one half yard of a, the SKU uh, 5561724. Oh yeah, you have to use the promo code. I can say that. Sorry guys. <laughs> uh, from the stateside collection with any $25 purchase. Yay! 
Those are awesome, awesome discounts. So if you get the box, you got those. They always do something like that. Then they always have their cute little um, paper that comes in that shows you everything you get and the value. So I am going to read this to you guys. The first thing, obviously, that grabbed my attention right off the bat is the Apple Pie Stateside Fat Quarter Bundle. This is Sweetwater Fabric. Look at that. Um, this is their collection that came out this summer. I love Sweetwater. I have a lot. It's mixed in because I have my fabric by color, but I also have bins of fat, quarter, fat quarters. I love this. So super excited to get this fat quarter bundle. Do, do we want to take it out of the plastic and look at it? You can. This is still available. I will link to this fabric uh, down in the description in case you're interested at all because it is really good. I mean, even if you just want to make project bags with it. Look how cute, you guys. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. So, fabric. And this is valued at $33.98. Now there's a bonus in here and I love it. I love like the little tchotchkes that are included in here, I guess. This is the B Vintage Tape Measure. Look at the little cherries on it. This is valued at $4.48. This is great to like keep in your purse or whatever. And I know these are available too. But if you ever need to measure things or whatever, I love having these. This is so cute. Love, love, love that. Um, the Liberty Box Coaster Set. So these are some coasters. And these are an exclusive. Let's just take them out and show you guys. And again, I know that this stinks if you didn't get one, but... I just want to show you guys what Fat Quarter Shop does so that you, because I got this last year as well. Uh, so if you're interested at all, these are cute little coasters. I'm going to use these right in my office or on my end table. Very cute coasters and nice. Very nice. Those are valued at $9.48. We get some Bowen pins and I love that they're red white and blue valued at eight dollars and 74 cents I mean those are nice too I mean they're not the little house pins that I love but they're really cute <laughs> um let's see you get I thought this was really fun you get the Lori Holt Red and Blue Cute Cuts 4.5 inch square ruler, which is darling. If you need a square ruler, I mean, I use a square ruler all the time. I do think I have a 4.5. Do I have a Or is it 5.5? It doesn't matter. This is darling. I'm keeping it. Um, I'm keeping everything in here. I love the box. Love, love, love. And that is valued at $7.98. And then finally, you get the pattern for the apple pie wall hanging. Now, I will tell you, I'm not going to make this because I'm going to intermix some of this fabric into a bigger quilt from Summer Memories, the big flag quilt from there, with some of my other sweet water. I'm going to mix and match from among the years the fabric to create my quilt. But this is cute. So this is the apple pie wall hanging pattern. Look how adorable that is. It is 27 and a half by 36 and a half. And this is valued at $9.98. I will likely give this pattern away just because I'm not going to sew it because I'm going to sew a different flag. But this is cute table topper or just like a little, you know, throw over your couch kind of display or to use in your display. This should be a super quick and easy Stitch, I just think it's our sew up, I guess. Super cute. Um, in addition to this, it always tells you what else you need. I'm going to show you on the back. And their patterns are amazing. So that is the Liberty Box. Again, I'm very excited about it. I thought it was fantastic. Okay, so the last haul I have for you is not really stitching related, but I follow several favorite Target 
Instagrammers, and they started to share that there's super cute bee things in the Target dollar spot or the bullseye playground or whatever they call it now. My daughter works there and I still can't tell you. Namely, this is the thing I went for. This is the ceramic honey pot. Shall we take it out? It is the cutest. For your bee displays, you guys, look at this. It's tiny, it's cute, comes with a honey dipper. Absolutely darling. So uh, this was three bucks at Target. Love, love, love it. Um, then I decided to go ahead and just go all in on my bee display. This is their little uh, woven beehive basket, which I thought was so cute. And this, you can kind of unbuck. I mean, you could put stuff in here if you want. I'm just going to use it for display, but I thought it was cute. Uh, this was five bucks. Also in the dollar spot. These cute wood beehives with the little bee on it. There's also wood bees. I did not get the wood bee. This is three bucks at Target. Great for your displays. Um, I did get one sign. This was $3. This is the Busy Bee Company. They have another one this size, and then they have a hexagon one. I didn't see the hexagon one at my stores, but they had the other one like this. I just got this one that kind of matches my vibe the best. And then I can't resist these trays. I love them for displays. I love to stack them. I did get Honey Hive and Farmer's Market. And if you saw my Chris, like my Christmas ones, I put tags in and stuff like that and used them, to, like pulled my tags out of them. But I, my Easter ones from the video where I shared my Easter decor, I have stacked up high in my kitchen and I have things tucked in them and stacked on top. They're just really great, like layering pieces. So cute. And these were five bucks each. So uh, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know, I know I shared my little haul on my Facebook page yesterday or Saturday, whenever, uh, but I wanted to share with you guys in case you want to run out to Target and see they're just starting to pop up. I had gone two days before looking for the beehive and they had nothing. And then I went out early Saturday morning and I found all of that stuff. I did go to two different Stores. I actually went, ended up going to three different stores. Uh, the two super targets had stuff. The regular target I went to didn't have a single thing. They no, don't normally. I ran in there for something else later, <laughs> but I just, I looked. You got to look and see what they have. Um, but I thought you guys would like to see that for your B displays. No stitchy mail this week, so let's move right on to giveaways. Um, I had not heard from the winner of the Teresa Kogut Beauty Fades from Floss Tube 45, so I drew a new winner from that video, and the new winner is Brenda B. Congratulations, Brenda. If that is your comment, please email me at the email address in the description, and I will get this mailed out to you. I have only not heard from one winner from last week. Uh, one of the winners of the Country Vintage Ada, this is 14 count, uh, Yolanda Rosa Colon, I have not heard from you. If I don't hear from you by uh, the time I film the next week's video, I will choose a new winner. And that is it. Everyone else, uh, your prizes should be on their way to you, so congratulations. Um, again, winners, I will pick winners for next week's video. Uh, I have to fix, I think I put the wrong date in the description from last week's video. I'll fix it. But there is still time until Wednesday at 8 a.m. Central to leave a comment for that. I will leave a link to that video down below if you're interested in. And today I have eight giveaways for you guys. Please be a U.S. resident. Please be over 18. I have to ask for your address. Please like and subscribe. Um, and please answer the question, what is your favorite floss to stitch with? 
do you like over dyed? Um, do you like classic color works? Do you like Weeks dye works, gentle arts, color and cotton? Do you have a favorite or do you like just all over dyed? Are you a strict DMC stitcher? Um, or do you stitch with anchor or something else? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys and uh, see what you guys like to stitch with. So leave the numbers of the items you're interested in this week and I will choose a winner. You need to leave a comment and I'm going to put it along the bottom of the screen by Wednesday, June 28th, 2023 for a chance to win. Got to make sure. I think I had my, all my dates wrong. So leave a number in the description below. So put a one in the comments if you would like to win the adorable patriotic typeface from Fat Quarter Shop. Thank you to Fat Quarter Shop for donating this. And I just want to give a shout out to Java Girl Stitches. She stitched Uncle Sam here, but instead of the words, she stitched his full face. She figured out how to do it because I think she just kind of mirror imaged it. She stitched his whole face and it is darling. So cute, uh, but absolutely adorable. Um, so check that out. I am going to give this away to one lucky winner, put a one. And then my friend Barbara also made all of these great little charms. So I will include one of those. I have two different ones, one with this and one with the next. You can keep your floss on there or you can take it off and put it on your project bag or whatever. So thank you, Barbara, for donating those to give away. Put a two in the comments if you would like the Fat Quarter Shop Star Spangled Ornaments. These are darling, you guys. They are so cute. And I will also give one of these away with this. So put a two if you want the sp Star Spangled Ornaments. These were all donated by a generous viewer. Put a three. If you want the B in a in my bonnet stitch card O set, put a three. Put a four for the heart in hand, bird in the hand Valentine's Day stitch. I love that that's a pocket that's finished into a little pillow with a pocket. I want to do a finish like that. That's cute. Number that's a four. Put a four in the comments. Uh, five for. The When I Think of February chart, and it also does come with a cute little button to finish. Absolutely adorable. This is five. Number six, the month to month February chart. Put a six if you want the stitching with the housewives, month to month February. Put a seven in the comments. If you want the Stitching with the Housewives, Sweetheart Street, Let's Go Ride a Bike. This one is the cutest. I love, love, love this. I got to tell you too, you guys, if you've seen their monthly weigh-in series with Fat Quarter Shop, the fall one is darling. It really, really is cute. Tell me if you're, tell me that in the comments too, if you're stitching that. It's really cute. And put an eight in the comments if you want the Jolly Bar book volume four. These are all patterns that can be made with the Jolly Bars from Fat Quarter Shop. All color. It is amazing. They do such beautiful books, you guys, and I love the cute little cute little size and cute little spir the spiral bound. That's amazing. Wish all books were spiral bound. Uh, so that is number eight. Okay, next week, I'm going to share a patriotic parade of my cross stitch and quilting that I things that I have made in the past. Uh, we're going to talk about all of my stitching and things and, and uh, the floss anniversary sal should be wrapping up. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys all next week. Have a great week of stitching. We'll see you later. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click that like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new floss tube stitching or quilting video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.